Hey, what is going on guys? Danny here. Welcome back to the channel and I hope you've all been doing well. I hadn't really planned on making this video. It's kind of abrupt and totally unscripted. And uh, the reason why I wanted to make it is really to shed some light on, you know, the issues I've been talking about when it comes to Windows 11 and Microsoft uh, these past few years. And, you know, one of the reasons why on all my machines nowadays, I go with a custom debloated Windows 11 IoT install. And yesterday what happened was I actually went over to uh, Best Buy and I picked up this. So this is the MSI Claw uh, 8 AI Plus, whatever the name is for it. Um, I was really interested in handhelds. Um, the only thing I had was a Nintendo Switch. So it was about time I actually got into the whole Windows or PC gaming handheld scene. I was actually waiting on the announcement for the Len uh, Lenovo Legion Go 2. and as some of you may know, <laughs> when they announced those prices, wow, that was uh, that was really amb ambitious for them. So we're going to see how that goes. But <laughs> kudos to them because they've actually ended up increasing sales for, I guess, MSI. Um, and I saw a lot of other people doing the same thing, jumping ship and saying that they picked up a claw. So that's what I did yesterday. I went ahead and picked this thing up. I want to play around with it and do some testing on it. Um, and you guys are going to see some content about that going forward. So I was actually in the midst of setting this device up. Um, and the reason why I wanted to make this video is because this really, really needs to stop. And if, you know, these manufacturers are, are, ser are, are, are like serious about entering the handheld space, um, then they're going to have to do something about this because, you know, Valve and, and the Steam Deck, they've got it, they've got it nailed down. And what the, what Lenovo did with the Legion Go 1, um, where they pretty much had SteamOS right out of the gate is what people are talking about when it comes to these handhelds. So I was actually just in the midst of setting this up up and it's been, it's been a nightmare. Like it's been a while since I had to deal with a um, retail copy of Windows 11. Um, and I gotta say the experience made me wanna, made me wanna vomit because I didn't realize how terrible it was um, or it this made me realize how, it, how terrible it, it was because on a gaming handheld device, why the hell are you going to ask me to set up something like Microsoft Office and then advertise a subscription model? Like, that makes zero sense to me. It's this kind of stuff that is really infuriating to consumers. And I mean, during this whole setup process, like this setup process took to, is, is taking about a couple hours because it had to do a whole bunch of updates right at the start. That took a while. It, it felt like at one point it was stuck, but some people I was looking up online and they're like, yeah, it, it takes a really long while for these initial updates to go through. Um, and then during the whole setup process, it's asking me stuff like, you know, what do you want to set up OneDrive? Do you want to set up, um, you know, tailored ads? Um, and then obviously the Microsoft Office shit. So, I mean, th this can't happen. Like if, if these companies want to dive into the gaming handheld space and these are devices that are going to be used mainly for gaming. Like, I don't know who is going to be installing Microsoft Office or wants to set up OneDrive on their gaming handheld. Like, this needs to be a really slimmed down pro procedure, which is why stuff like Bazite OS and SteamOS is so appealing to uh, the demographic in this segment because it's an operating system. It's an environment that's built totally and solely for gaming. Like, you turn the device on, you set up a few things, Wi-Fi, maybe need to do an update here or there. And then you're in, you log in and you download your games, you press play and that's it. But with these kinds of devices that come with Windows 11, this Windows 11 retail version, and it makes you go through all the hoops that you would on a desktop. Like, I don't know why, you know, these companies are coming out with these handle devices and they're making the users go through this experience as if they're setting up a whole desktop rig when it should be so much more stream uh, streamlined. It should be a custom, you know, stripped down operating system, like put Windows on it. I'm all for it. Um, but it can't be a full on bloated windows copy. Like it just can't be like that. Um, so, you know, and it, I'm going to be doing some testing with this. I'm going to do some testing with the, uh, windows 11 retail copy that's on here now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to completely do a fresh install of my own copy of windows 11 IOT. That's completely debloated with a custom auto on a 10 script. And then we're, I'm going to do some comparisons because I feel like, you know, with when it comes to battery life and performance like these devices like they're so resource limited or rather yeah like power limited right so you got to be really careful with um everything that's running on the operating system right out of the gate like when i was at best buy yesterday 
they actually had a demo that was set up for the Asus ROG Ally. This was the first one, uh, the Z1 Extreme. And I was, I, I was playing around with it. I went to the desktop, so nothing was really, like, turned on. There's no game running in the background or anything, just a desktop with whatever is installed on it. And I opened up Task Manager, and I saw t it, it comes with 16 gigabytes, and right on the desktop idle, there was 10 gigabytes of RAM being used, system memory being used. Like, you can't have that on a device that's, you know, so resource limited. You need to put a copy of Windows that's streamlined. And, you know, I, I haven't done any extensive testing with it right now. Like I said, I was just in the middle of setting this device up, um, but... I feel like with the Asus uh, ROG Ally, the handheld, I think a lot of the bloat there comes from Asus's Armory Crate. MSI has their M Center designed for their claw handheld, so I'm going to be testing that out and seeing how much resources that takes up. Okay, so I just actually finished up setting up the device. I didn't do anything. I opened up Task, task Manager, and the first thing I see is processes 256. Like, come on, man, get the fuck out of here. Like, you seriously... Like, I put on a fresh copy of Windows 11 IoT that's debloated, and that shit only has, like, 107 processes right out right out of the gate. And this thing, a resource-limited device, like, handheld, is running with 200... I mean, I'm, it's probably doing a whole bunch of updates and shit, too, because it's a first-time setup, but come on, man. Like, really? Really? 8.5 gigabytes in use? Like... You guys need to do better, man. Like, this is going forward. Lead, they have to do something about making a much more streamlined, gaming-focused, stripped-down Windows. Like, come on, guys. Look at this, man. Like, what the hell? What the fuck is this? Why do I need this shit on a gaming device? Like, bro, come on. Holy shit, dude. All this freaking bloatware, man. Like, this is what people are talking about. This is why we... Why Microsoft has totally fucked up the mass opinion on Windows 11. Like, holy shit, dude. We don't need any of this. And, you know, for someone like myself who's a tech enthusiast, who's tweaking and tuning up their own systems, like, we know how to get around this. That's not an issue. But imagine, you know, your average consumer, someone who doesn't uh, really have that know-how, isn't really tech savvy, and just wants a device that they want to turn on and um, just press the play button, right? Just something that they expect to work out of the box smoothly. Um, you know, they're going to have a pretty bad experience with this. It may not be as smooth as they're expecting. They're going to end up blaming the product. And I mean, to be fair, MSI can go uh, one step further and really optimize their custom version of Windows. Unless this is an agreement that Microsoft is, you know, forcing them to agree upon that, you know, if you want to license windows and be able to use it on your machines as a si then you're gonna have to make sure all of our necessary bloat is on your devices so that way we can you know fuck around with the consumer and collect all their data but yeah like th these are just one of the main complaints uh, that a lot of people have and now that i got my own handheld device i can finally see it firsthand and test it out for myself and give you guys my feedback on this and you know hopefully some manufacturers hopefully msi you're listening to this and i know you know you guys know me you've uh, you've seen me work with MSI in the past where they've sent me products. No, this didn't, like I said, I purchased this with my own money uh, because I was just so curious and, you know, I want to be able to finally get into this handheld scene and do some testing with these uh, kind of devices. I'm pretty curious about them, but yeah, like I, I hope these guys take some notes because, you know, going forward and, you know, Microsoft, I know they have that Xbox Windows uh, that they're going to be rolling out with the ROG Ally X and hopefully that is a operating system that you just be able to download from Microsoft directly and put it on the device so that you don't have to go through this nonsense of setting up OneDrive, setting up Microsoft Office. Like, this is a gaming handheld. I'm not sure how many people are actually going to be installing or utilizing Microsoft Office on these kinds of devices. It started asking me stuff about Edge. Um, it, shouldn't, it shouldn't come down to that. Like, I feel like they need to do a much, much better job at giving the user a much more streamlined process. Um, and, you know, like I said, it can impact battery life, it can impact performance, which is so crucial for these devices, which are so limited. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all I wanted to say and kind of get out there. Um, this video wasn't really planned or anything like that. Um, but uh, stay tuned because I'm going to have some content and testing uh, coming up with the device. And, you know, we'll have some fun with it. We'll see what we can do to extract more performance out of it and, you know, really optimize the thing. But that's going to do it for this one. Hope you guys are doing well and uh, we'll touch base in the next one. If you guys found this video to be informative and entertaining, then leave a like. 
Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. Be sure to check out the video description for cool links and ways to support the channel, such as using my Amazon affiliate link. And if you're interested in seeing more content like this, then consider subscribing, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching, take care and I'll see you in the next one.